Hello! Once again, we're going back to the highly dysfunctional church at Corinth. And in the passage that interests me today, Paul has been told that some people in the Corinthian church uh, were saying many things, like uh, some were saying that, well, I belong to Paul, or I belong to Apollo, I belong to Cephas, I belong to Christ. And we're reading this, we're hearing this, and we cannot but stop thinking of the various denominations we have in the Christian church today. Uh, and, and some will use it as almost batch of honor. You know, I'm Roman Catholic, I'm United Church of Canada, I'm Baptist, I'm Methodist, I'm Christian. And sometimes we wonder, where does it come from? Well, sorry to tell you this, if you're not aware of this, but this is not you. Uh, in the second, we have a treatise of uh, Christian living dating from the end of first century, beginning of the second century, called the Didacte, and it's it has this wonderful uh, passage that says that we're not like those hypocrites that fast on Monday or Thursday. No, no, we fast on Tuesday and Friday. <laughs> And we look at this today and said, oh my, how in consequence in our life. But second century, it was a very big deal. And so we can understand Paul's um, position. Not that Paul was uh, had a problem with difference. Uh, some would argue that it was actually the complete opposite. Paul, uh, from what we can hear, did not mind, you know, Greek, Jews, a Gentile, slave, free men, women, everybody welcome. Uh, Paul seems to be that guy who did not care about those details. For him, it was just details. The point was to convert to Christianism. What he sees to struggle is, from what we can read in the Didacte, is calling the other hypocrites because okay we fast on tuesday and friday they fast on monday and thursday yeah that's nice different but no no there are hypocrites and that's the issue for paul in the church of corinth not that there are many leaders or many f faction but there's division there's quarrels there is profound argument that lead, uh, and, and that stayed <laughs> in the history of Christianity. We, we saw uh, many examples of quarrel, division, wars between Christians for, for topics that sometimes we look at this today and consider it mundane, or if, let's say, an alien will come, or someone from a different faith group, look at this and they, they see, ourselves arguing about is Jesus really present or not in a piece of bread? Which language is appropriate when we have liturgy in our church? Um, whose leader is the real successor for the first disciple, the first apostle? And <laughs> this year is the 500th anniversary of the Reformation. And we'll look at them. What what trigger the 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 Reformation? Yes, there were a lot of politics, but the, the fate was the, the fate part, the religious part. We look at this, and sometimes we said, "Really, really?" And the same way, probably that in five hundred years, our our forebearers will look at us and said, "Okay, you have nothing better to argue about than this." And probably this is why Paul is so emotional in this letter, is saying, okay guys, wake up and focus. It's not about you. <laughs> this religious thing, this, this faith is about following Christ and, and, and building the realm of God 
on Earth. And asking, can we work with on the same goal? Can we walk in the same direction? And this is a great challenge for all of us because we think we, we tend to think that we're right, we got it. We're, we will rarely hear a minister saying to the flock, you know what, we're okay, but the next church, their best. They got it, and if I were in your place, I would worship over there, not here. I don't know where, no. <laughs> we want to protect our turf, we want to protect our jobs, we want to, to maintain our, our building. And, and that's the challenge. That's the challenge. Because the real point is to remember what, what is the core of our call of each and every one of us. And regardless to the church to belong, the amount of church that exists in Christianity today, each and every one of us have been called by the same God to follow the same Christ and to work through the same spirit for what some call the same kingdom. And that's the point. That's what at the core, regardless of apparent uh, f faction, if we can work together, we will accomplish what we are called to be and called to do. Well, that's all for today. I remain the lectionary man, Reverend Stéphane Vermette, and until I see you next time, take care of yourself, and bye-bye.